I am a fully fledged hustler, entrepreneur. I'm not messing about. I call the shots. <laughs> but you don't know shit about boxing. What's your view, Georgia? The only female on this panel. <laughs> um, it's a difficult one because I think media organisations are very. Um, they're hypocrites for going there because you get something like live golf everybody's up in arms all media are up in arms about um golfers taking more money and going for a saudi-led golfing tournament sure um they're being you know not allowed to play in the pga anymore um things like that when it comes to boxing all that goes out the window and you kind of have to play a role as a media and organization to keep your staff safe to keep the women that you're sending there safe um I know things from last time where you weren't allowed to take your own phone. Um, like, yeah, I had, um, I think you got given a work phone, but you weren't allowed to take your phone. You weren't allowed to go on the internet on that phone. What is that? Because it's so dangerous. What do you mean? I'm confused. Um, You've lost me now. In Saudi? Yeah. But I was in Saudi. Um, yeah, I was in Saudi. I was with my missus in Saudi. Mm. But obviously, maybe that was different because we was with mm. Khalid. Mm. And he was just like, oh, yeah, you know, you guys, you can do anything you want just, from my guests, you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. so because yeah. we was kind of saying, does she need to cover up and stuff? And he was like, no, 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 not at all. Mm. And it was like, maybe because of the event, he said, I think they know, like you said, because it's for a duration, they know mm. that, um, you know, there's a lot of foreigners we're bringing. They're going to be westernised, um, exactly, like, for, yeah. for, for that, for that. But I think that's what they want to do. So to cut you, I have heard they want to kind of, go into more yeah. events and entertainment and be somewhat like Dubai to a degree yeah. and make, you know, money outside yeah. of how as, they make money. As a place, especially with some of my friends and colleagues that will go over there that are part of the LGBTQ plus community, it could not come back quite easily, it would never come back. Um, and that's a very, very scary and very, very real thought that I think in boxing, you put a bit of money on the table, all, the, all those things go out the window. Were you relieved not to have been asked to go this time? Um, not relieved. Um, would I have gone given the chance? Yeah, probably. I um, think it's an amazing <laughs> opportunity, but at the same time, there's a lot of things I don't agree with that morally don't align with how I am as a person. Um, would you like to see the people involved in the event, whether it's the boxers, the promoter, trainers, whatever, shine more of a light on those sort of things while they're there? Because they're there up close, they've got a platform. No, it's not safe to. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, you have to be very, very careful um, what you say, how you say it, who you say it to. Um, yeah, it's, it, it is a difficult one, but I know there's an obscene amount of money that are thrown at people and at the end of the day, you've got bills to pay you've got families to look after and that's what people are going to go for um but i do think media outlets are very what's the word what's the other word for hypocrite here inconsistent yes there we go that do. Yeah. Well, let me just kind of add mm. on to what you're saying you know like because it is this is boxing mm -hmm. there is an outlet for what you're you know, like there are outlets for people to talk on a platform mm -hmm. if they want to discuss certain matters if it was mm -hmm. you know like so if there's you know there's always a spokesperson for many things like you say because of the money mm -hmm. people ain't rocking the boat and that's mm -hmm. what it is because like, someone like eddie hearn wouldn't feel fear for his safety if he said something necessarily yeah, but, but he's not going to rock the boat and, exactly and mess up the business a lot of people you, sometimes there's a word we use in the Caribbean, play fool to catch wise. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just gotta mm. zip up. You might not agree with certain things, maybe in your close confidence you'll talk about it, but then you think, well, if I dared to mention something, I will not be at this table eating this mm -hmm. fine delicacy yeah. <laughs> anymore. And so you gotta bear it, it's either you wanna be the spokesperson to talk up, but not get paid, mm -hmm. or not be at this table anymore, or you say, I'll give you my information. You've got nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. You're the spokesperson. Be my voice as well. Yeah. And and that's how you really got to manoeuvre. I do that sometimes with loads of people. <laughs> I, I just keep my table kind of as tidy as I can because sometimes you yeah, don't want to offset it. So you've got to be... Yeah, and especially as where um, women are concerned, they're 
what it's only been legal to drive the past what yeah, it's two, good. two it's three bit, years. It's I didn't want to say I was gonna say that mad, but they I don't want to Yo, Danny Flexen here. Think you know shit about boxing? There's only one way to find out. Listen to the full podcast via one of the links in the description or go to secondsoutboxing.podbean.com.